Alright, so this pet spotlight today will be on the Death Adder Hatchling, another tier 1 pet. This pet right here, you get him on the Timeless Isle. He's a rare drop from an Imperial Python. Imperial Pythons are like the rare Python, so you can't just go around and farm the, the regular ones. You have to get the rare Elite Python or for the drop. Or you can go in the Auction House and just buy one. I don't know how frequent you can buy one off the Auction House nowadays since people aren't really on the Timeless Isle anymore. But the SS one, the breed that you actually want, is kind of pricey. And there's no guarantee you'll get the good one even if you do farm it out. So I'd say your best bet of grabbing this pet is off the Auction House and you want the SS breed because it's the only one that's actually good. I mean, I guess the power speed breed can do if you really want to have a death adder. 305 isn't terribly slow, but you really want SS because the SS one's going to be able to outspeed pretty much everything. And the reason you want to outspeed your opponent with the death adder hatchling is because of blinding poison. Blinding poison is this neat little spell that used to be unique to only death adder hatchlings until warlords when they gave it to two other pets as well. And these two pets are pretty good because of blinding poison. It's just a really good spell. Basically, Blind Poison all it does is reduces your opponent's chance to hit by 100% for one round. If you go first in the round, they basically miss you during that round, and then it stays on them for the next round. So if you go second, it only pretty much blocks one turn, and since it doesn't do any damage, you it's basically like a, an even trade-off, one for one. If you go first, then you do get an extra attack out of it, since they're not hitting you during the turn you use it, and the next turn you just do whatever you want. It also counts as both a blind and poison, so if you have something that uses like blind or poisons, it's great because there's a lot of abilities that require your opponent to be blind or poisoned. And he has one of these abilities that require your opponent to be poisoned and that's Puncture Wound. Puncture Wound is basically like the conflagrate of beast type abilities. It hits hard, eh, it hits for about as much as a basic attack, but it does double damage if they're poisoned, But you can do with blind and poison. But you also have Poison Fang which does about half the damage of a basic attack up front and then makes them bleed for five rounds which is usually what you do with this guy so to start off with the death adder hatchling his rotation so to speak this is what you want to do like 90 percent of the time is start off with blinding poison because you should be faster than your opponent unless he has like a rabbit or something then go into poison fang because your opponent like five times out of ten will switch out their pet once they get blinded poison so you go into a poison fang that way they act they get a poison on them and then you go into puncture wound that way you're guaranteed to do double damage and with all that said and done you should have two turns left on blinding poison so you can either just switch out your death adder which is advisable because without blinding poison or puncture wound up he's not the best pet in the world because all he can do is basically just spam a dot over and over unless you want to take vicious fang which i don't recommend because dotting up your opponents because your opponent will switch around a lot with Death Adder out, so if you can dot a bunch of pets up, that's really good because the dot does do some decent damage over time. Since it lasts 5 turns and does 70 damage every turn, that's a lot of math that I want to do in my head. <laughs> so, actually, can I do that in my head? If we take 70 and divide it in 2, which is 45, and then times that by 5, let's add 5 to that 5, so 5 times 5 is 250. 50, it does about 250 damage over 5 turns, give or take, unless I did my math very wrong. Anyways, no big deal. Um, his other moves, he has Burrow, I mean you can use it, it's not half bad since this guy is really fast, but Blinding Poison is so much better. And then he has Crouch, again Crouch is a pretty good move too, but you really want to go for a Puncture Wound just because he's able to use it so well since he has basically two poisons and both of them are pretty good. And Poison Fang, you can go into Vicious Fang if you want and do fine, but I don't suggest that. I suggest just getting used to switching out on Death Adder once it's gone. Death Adder, back in its heyday though, he used to be way, way stronger than he is now because both Blinding Poison and Puncture Wound only had three round cooldowns. So, you basically, after you use his rotation, where Go into Blinding Poison, Poison Fang, and then Puncture Wound. You still have two turns before Blinded Poison's off cooldown. But back in the day when it only had three turns, uh, three round cooldown, you only had to wait one turn until you could do Blinding Poison again. So one more turn of Blinding Poison really did make the Death Adder Hatchling overpowered. A lot of people thought it was overpowered, and Blizzard agreed, and they nerfed it by just increasing the cooldown by one turn. It's still definitely a tier one pet, 
but it's no longer overpowered like it used to be. So, if you want a good pet that used to be OP back in the day, I'd suggest buying an expensive SS Death Adder. <laughs> because it's still, it's still pretty good.